it's unbelievable how little genuine encouragement many people need and how and how they had none like maybe if you got a hold of them when they were young you could teach them the value of expressing themselves and competing or doing something where you get like positive feedback from your effort and I think that some people they just they don't they don't ever get that no one ever said to them and meant it it's not okay for you to be a weak loser it's not okay and the reason it's not okay is because you could be way more than that. There's somebody sitting home right now. There's a young 10-year-old kid sitting home that don't have a father. And he's ready to join the game. He's ready to give up. I'm telling you, don't give in. And don't ever give up. It's a crime, an ethical crime, for you to allow all that necessary potential to go to waste. It hurts you, it hurts your family, it hurts the world. Really, really, it does. And so when someone gets that from someone like you, when they, they, they get that, that, that fuel, that intangible fuel that you get when you get inspired by somebody, they, it's so emotional because it really is like you gave them a gift. And that gift, we model ourselves after other successful people. We do it all the time. Hopefully, if everything goes great, you model yourself after your parents, or you model yourself after your uncle, your brothers and sisters, or whoever it is that's around you that seems to be exceptional. And that, that fuels people, it helps people, it means a lot to people. Sometimes people don't have that, so they gotta look inward. My dad beat the shit out of me when I was growing up, and um, beat the shit out of me, beat the shit out, you know, out of my mom. There was an incident one time when my mom got knocked out on top of the stairs, and he drug her down the stairs by her hair. And at six years old, um, I'll never forget this. In my mind, I, I was always afraid. My whole life, I was afraid, but I had this voice, this, this conscience, that would always be battling me, saying, hey, you gotta get up and do something. I didn't want to do shit. You know, I was just afraid. And I have a big time learning disability. Cause my dad didn't believe in us going to school. So when I went to school, I was all kind of, you know, my, my learning disability, I had social anxiety. I was just a jacked up kid from living in this tortured home. Sometimes you don't find someone for a long time and then when you do it changes your whole life you find someone maybe it's just a YouTube video and it's you saying it's still your motherfucking set and it's you just pushing people and telling people to go get after it and what changed I came home and watched this Discovery Channel show um, class 224 I came home from Steak and Shake I sprayed it down last get a big old large 42 ounce shake walk across the street and get a box of mini donuts from 7-Eleven. So I'm um, driving home, turn the TV on, and what comes on, Discovery Channel show, and that's where everything changed for me. I watched the show, and it made me reflect big time on the piece of shit that I am, and I'm exactly what people said I was gonna be. And I sat there and I said, this is my life. This is it. And I said, this ain't gonna be it for me. So in that restaurant, I quit my job and I started working out like somebody. I was, I became the most obsessed person on the planet Earth. So when I was a kid, I found an educator whose talents I liked as educator. I found people who were moral and I would follow them. And, and I found people who were great athletes and I only honored the athletic part of their lives. It's so sad that so many of these men, you know, they've not had an encouraging bloody word, a real encouraging word in their entire life. It just takes a little bit of, of encouragement and care so that they're willing to set themselves straight to some degree and start trying. It's just a catastrophe that that's, that's so rare in their lives. What if you don't want to do anything? You don't have any uh, goals or obsessions. The only thing I can tell you is find something. Do you have anything that you love? Is there anything that you love, anything that you like to do? Then, you know, start there, dude. I try my best, but I fell short. Is there victory in that? God damn right it is. It's a beautiful thing when you go to bed at night, getting ready to close your eyes, days over, taking a breath. You realized even if you fucked it up really bad, didn't stick to your plan, 
didn't do the things you said you were going to do at the beginning of the day. It doesn't matter anymore because the time is gone. You can't get it back and you got to get some sleep, man. Because you got all these grand visions in your head that tomorrow it's going to be different. You're going to get up, you're going to get some exercise. What steps next you need to take to become successful in the way that you want to. And then morning comes. It's very challenging to act, to do those things. There are times when you're looking at it and you say, I, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. I don't want to do it. I know I need to do it, yet leave me alone. No. You never say no. You never say it can't get done. Don't you ever say out your mouth it can't get done. Even if you feel in your heart it can't get done, you don't say it out loud. Are you willing to do it knowing that you got so much work to do to get it better, to get it more perfect, but are you willing to do it inside your imperfection? Do you realize that in your imperfection you're perfect for the job? It is impossible until some crazy son of a bitch has the audacity to believe that no matter what the expert or the doctor says, I can still do that shit. There are winners, and there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight or a different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. Morning always comes. There it is, man. Morning, night, morning, night. Always count on it. Morning comes. You open your eyes, all of a sudden, you've got a different mindset. And by the time you get from your bedroom to the kitchen, there's Mr. Ugly Ass, Mr. Resistance, riding you, poking at you, making fun of you, telling you that all those things that you wanted to make important today, all those things that you wanted to do because they give your life a purpose and a meaning and a worthiness, that they don't mean shit. Every day is an opportunity for you to start taking control of your life and fulfilling your destiny. Paying attention to your inner voice, not the voice of that fucking dumbass Mr. Resistance. You think that successful people have some lucky charm. Well, let me tell you something. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find my fucking lucky charm. I and other successful people wake up every day doing the same thing, fighting fighting back against the distractions, the fears, the doubts. And we learn over time, we build into a habit to spend more time having control instead of more time being out of control. It does matter. It mattered last night when you laid down and you put your head on a pillow. You were going to get up this morning and you were going to make it matter. Everything you did today, we're going to do today, was going to have a purpose behind it, it was going to matter. Don't fail yourself. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you, that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that. When you got an idea, you want to move on. You might not have the money. You might not have the education. You might not have the support or the resources you need. What is that something that can keep us going, that will enable us to act on our dream? What's one of those keys? Say, it's possible. It's all I want you to do when you look at your dream. You say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. It begins to change your belief system. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us.